Earth's Mightiest Parodies might be making an appearance in the new season of The Boys. Will Huey get some payback? Will Homelander be creepy? And is Tech Knight going to explode onto the scene this season? One of the most exciting additions to The Boys Season 3 is Soldier Boy, played by Supernatural star Jensen Ackles. But as tends to be the case with new soups on The Boys, there's likely more to this character than first meets the eye. As one can guess from his uniform and name, Soldier Boy is effectively a stand-in for Captain America in this universe. His personal history even dates him back to World War II, much like Cap from the world of Marvel. But the illusions seemingly go much deeper than that. At one point in the trailer, we see a person sitting in front of papers on a wall, one of which is a newspaper with a headline that refers to Our Fallen Soldier Boy. In the comics, the public is misled about Soldier Boy's origins. The original who fought in World War II actually died in the line of duty, while the modern-day incarnation is simply a replacement masquerading as the original. Of course, the show's zagged comic fans in the past. Could this version actually be the original? Or perhaps it's already known in the world of Amazon's The Boys that Soldier Boy is a legacy title. It could make for a particularly timely development seeing how the mantle of Captain America has recently switched bearers in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Jensen Ackles' Soldier Boy isn't the only new soup coming to The Boys Season 3, as the trailer gives fans a look at The Walking Dead alum Laurie Holden as a Crimson Countess, a parody of Marvel's Scarlet Witch. In the trailer, we see this new hero throwing a red energy blast at someone dressed as Homelander, which makes them explode into a million gory pieces. In the comics, Crimson Countess is a member of Payback, the second most popular team in the boys' universe after the Seven. If the Seven are clear stand-ins for the Justice League, Payback is basically the Avengers. It's worth noting that Stormfront is also on Payback in the source material, and Aya Cash played the fascist villain in Season 2 so it's possible we could see a whole team of Avenger parodies in Season 3. After watching The Boys' Season 3 trailer, it's clear that the show is not shying away from parodying major real-life political moments in its upcoming season. Firstly, we see A-Train show up at a protest seemingly to help keep the peace, only to pull out and promote a soda called Turbo Rush. For those familiar with a certain viral moment starring Kendall Jenner and a Pepsi can, the image looks familiar. In 2017, Jenner starred in an ad for Pepsi, in which she hands a can of the soft drink to a police officer staring down a group of protesters, which elicits applause from the crowd. The ad was soon pulled for seeming to trivialize the Black Lives Matter movement, as reported by the New York Times. As the boys points out, some public figures or large soda companies will bank on any kind of well-known movement to advertise their products, whether it's appropriate or not. Secondly, in one short clip, we see a crowd of Homelander fans holding signs in support of the leader of the Seven. One of the members of the crowd is wearing a headdress with horns, just like Jacob Chansley, aka the Q Anon Shaman of the January 6th Capitol riots. Right at 27 seconds into this latest trailer for The Boys Season 3, amidst a number of newspaper clippings about various superhero activities, is a headline that reads, Woman Paralyzed in Tech Knight Hostage Rescue. Viewers with knowledge of The Boys comic series should remember Tech Knight as a sort of exaggerated mashup of Batman and Iron Man. Just like the two heroes that serve as a basis for his character, Tech Knight has no superpowers of his own, which also sets him apart from most of the soups in the universe of The Boys. Instead, he relies on a mechanical suit to accomplish superheroic feats. This isn't the first time the boys has teased the introduction of Tech Knight. Previously, perhaps alluding to the same incident, a woman at a support group revealed that Tech Knight damaged her spine. I know it's wrong to feel angry. After all, Tech Knight saved me. I just wish he'd been a, a little more gentle with my spine. Despite the hints, Tech Knight has yet to appear in the live-action adaptation of The Boys. Could his appearance finally come in Season 3? A bigger question for those who have read the comics may be whether the Tech Knight of the show has the same issues that his comics counterpart suffers from. It seems that the third season of The Boys will be venturing further into the pages of the comic book the show is based on. Besides the appearance of Soldier Boy and mentions of Tech Knight, a significant takeaway from this preview may be that Butcher and his team are finally going to get powered up. If that's the case, it will no doubt change the playing field forever. Among the blink and you'll miss them moments, there is some evidence that our favorite gang of soup killers may be taking their own version of the soup creating serum Compound V. Besides showing Butcher testing out heat vision that could match even a stare down with Homelander, we also see him throwing up all over Huey. 
whose track record of being covered in some form of unspeakable fluid looks to be untarnished this season. Interestingly, the teaser also shows the boy's newest recruit enjoying his arm being brutally snapped and Butcher not batting an eye. Could the reaction be down to the fact that Huey also takes some V? Perhaps, or maybe he's just getting some very unfortunate preparation done for an undercover assignment. Either way, it looks like Huey's in for some pain when the new season drops on June 3rd, 2022. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite television shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.